Mr. Harland here. Yes, it's been a while. And you're probably like, wait a minute. Why are you playing warships? Why are you doing that? Ah, give us more bully. Well, I decided uh, let's change the background a bit. That was me shutting the watertight door. Ooh, give us a realization we are aboard a warship. Yeah, you like that? Well, cool. Get it? Got it? Good. You like it? Ooh. Go ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Yeah. Well, but I was like, today it's a new day. So, I was like, ooh. 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 We gotta talk about. Well, today we're gonna talk about a virtual burglar. It's a more in depth look to. A computer hacker from the UK, also known as a virtual burglar. I hope that term catches on virtual burglar. Anybody who has Urban Dictionary, please put that in there. It's a, it's a great idea I came up with, and I don't care if anybody uses it or not. Seriously, I don't. Like, it's a universal term. So it's like, today, as we... Talk about this virtual burglar. And don't worry, I'll have the game chat disabled. Hopefully, that's, that's in order. Good, voice chat is disabled, so we don't get to hear these dingbats, and that's a good thing. So, here we go. King Gambell, real name, well yeah, that's his real name, formerly known as Kraka, was born in 1999 in Leicester, the United Kingdom, specifically the British. Hey, I just so happen to be playing as a British ship. Um, it's the Hawkins, yay! But, um, in all seriousness, yes, he was born in the UK, and, um, is quite big and known for hacking CIA, then CIA head dude, I don't know if he still is in the CIA, head dude, her head honcho, uh, John Brennan, back in 2016. Um, rather unusual thing, it's like, well, Mr. Harland, you talk about burglars. Well, I like to think of a, a hacker as a virtual burglar, you know, because he's invading your internet privacy, so why not just call it virtual burglar, you know, it makes sense. He was, um, believed to have hacked CIA John O'Brennan, United States Department of Justice, oh, never mind, I just remember that. Mark F. Giuliano, James Clapper, and numerous other high-ranking U.S. officials at the time. Kane Gamble was arrested at his home in Colville, Leicestershire, when he was 16 years old in February 2016. He was bailed for two years and then eventually sentenced to two years imprisonment. But the U.K. has some strange terms, you see. Detention. Okay, can we just say imprisonment like we do in the U.S.? It, it makes no sense. It makes no difference. But then you make it sound complicated when you say, uh, detention. Like, he got detention at school for this shit. Oh, I shouldn't say that. But yeah, it, it makes it sound like he got, uh, in school suspension. You know, detention. Oh, you get detention for hacking this computer. But it's like, yeah, um, okay, recent years, I don't know what the dude does, but it's safe to assume he does, he doesn't do that stuff anymore, but, uh, 
He founded a group on Twitter, it no longer exists, it was known as the Crackers with Attitude. Then again, it reminds me of the NWA, but uh, we can't talk about that here because I'm going to be able to monetize these videos in the future. Uh, and it also involves the N-word, something that is blacklisted from YouTube. So, uh, you can't say that, you can't say other things, you gotta watch what you say, so... Um, yes, this is uh, truly the channel's first uh, virtual burglar. Ooh. Um, in recent years, in 2018, I'm guessing after he was released, or sometime when he was released, perhaps in 2020, I don't know, uh, he gave an interview, because I believe it's called Vice, I don't know what they're called, um, talking about how he's not very smart in this interview, saying he's not very smart, he finds himself rather stupid, but it's like, uh, no, if you know how to hack, you're not dumb. Hey, it's a win. I barely even did anything. Oh well. But you're not dumb. You're very smart in my eyes. Like, who else can hack? No one, really. No, I don't know how to do that. I'd rather not know. Thank you very much. But, um, yeah. He did all this. He, he was called a politically motivated cyber terrorist. Or it's like, um, no. He's not a terrorist. He was just some kid. As they say, he was... Making some noise! Yeah! However it goes. <laughs> oh, somebody... Some DX fans are going to get pissed. It's like, oh! How dare you! That's not how it goes! <laughs> it goes... Do, 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 do. I, don't, I don't care. I'll do it however I want. This is my channel. <laughs> mm. My channel, my rules. There you go. But yes. It's a little more in-depth, but... Uh, he knows his skill. Hopefully he's putting it more to good use, like... Helping big people like Twitter secure their crap. And, who knows, it'd be cool to see him on the Dead by Daylight team. Oh my god, that game is so bad. That's why I officially retired from this game. So yes, we're also here to celebrate my retirement from Dead by Daylight. No, you don't have to do that. The game is so shitty. It's so bad. And then, and there I said the word again. It's a very bad game. I would not recommend it. Because the Dead by Daylight players don't care about you. They only care about your pockets your money lining their pockets uh... they'd rather know your credit card info debit card info your bank your bank's name your bank location your the amount of money you have in your bank that's just the way i see it because they are rather uh, a bunch of crooked people um, they're very crooked uh... The ship is on fire. uh Oh, and another thing, I don't think I mention this too often. I don't, I don't know if people actually do watch, but I know people do, and it's cool. Uh, I just like to say thank you, thank you very much. Uh, if you would like to, I'm not forcing you. If you would like to, feel free to like and subscribe, leave a comment on what you think about the idea of virtual burglar. I think it's a cool idea, but if you don't, think of something. What are your ideas? I'll I'll take it. Um, yeah, and to that troll from the previous video, dude. Unless you're unless you're the guy who I did the previous video on, uh, well, the second video after my first one about the the big eared one, the big eared burglar. Uh, then I'll negotiate. I'll do something, I'll take it down, I'll edit the video, but if you're not that dude, then get lost, get lost, don't come back, and if I have to deal with you again, I'm reporting you to YouTube, okay? 
So, things I do not tolerate, okay? I don't think I've set down any rules. I don't want to hear anything about trolling. I don't want to hear anything about Brian Laundry or his family. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. None of my business. That's the FBI's business, okay? But, uh, that said, if you do see him in public, don't be an idiot, okay? Call the proper authorities. You are not the police, all right? Just look for him. I don't even want to get into the details because you can look it up. You can look up his physical appearance. And like I said, if you see him, give a tip. Make sure. No lying either. No. None of that shit. None of that. And sorry about that. I swear a bit, but not all the time. But I don't want to see any doxing. None of that crap. I don't want to see it. I don't want to smell it. If I can't see or smell it. Well, you can't really smell doxing, but metaphorically, yeah, I don't want to smell it. I don't want to get any hint of doxing of any people or any burglar I cover on this channel from a historical point of view. Okay? Get it? Got it? Good. We good now. We good now. But if I see any doxing, or if I get an angry email from someone saying, or a long beep from that person, mm, mm -mm. and I find out, well, you got, and the guy's saying, oh, people from your channel, they're coming to harass me about this and that. It's like, well, I gave them the warning, so you have every right to tell them whatever it is you think you want to tell them I however I am not responsible for their actions so that being said I'm not responsible for what you do in someone else's chat but if you so wish to do that then go right ahead but you're not going to be welcome here no we will not I do not tolerate doxing I don't tolerate trolling bullying, any harassment of any of that kind, so if you want to do that, you could say, um, you could just make yourself towards the door, okay? We will not, I will not tolerate that here. Alright. Back to Mr. Gambell. Well, what has he been doing since? Well, I don't know. Uh, he has a life. Yeah, he has a life. Well, so do I. It's very boring. But, well, everyone else's life is boring unless you're, uh, Frank Abagnale. And, uh, wondering when he's going to have grandchildren. Oh. Ew, that, that's just bad. <laughs> then again, who knows? In this country, no one knows. But, uh, hmm. But yeah, that is it. Pretty much it. That's all else I could find on King Gambell. And like I said, if you love the video, if you like, if you, if you like today's video, feel free to, if you want to, I'm not forcing you. I'm not there next to your head, holding a gun up next to it, going, you will, you will like and subscribe. You will like and subscribe. You will do it. You will do it. I'm not doing that. But... If you want to, it's your decision. You can do it. You can like and subscribe, but then again, I think that is, yes, all, well, all pretty much it for this video. So, as someone else has said, and, uh, a nice call out to this dude. I think he's pretty cool. You know who you are when I say this. Mm -hmm. We shall do this 
very soon, my friends. <laughs> because Halloween's coming up soon. Sorry guys, I had to do some adjusting, but we will do this very soon again, my friends. Who knows, we might have a Halloween special video. Ooh. Christmas special. Ooh. Or, uh, and again, there could be a Halloween special. Oh, yes! But... As I said before, I know you're sad. Oh no, I'm going away. Don't worry, I'll be back for the next video when it comes out whenever. So, see ya. Goodbye, and remember the siren. Goodbye!